Guys, yesterday I went sleeping with one thought only. How to make my system corruption setup even stronger. And I found a solution. The biggest issue I had yesterday, although build performed really well, uh, only downfall for that setup was that once you used your system corruption medkit, there is no way how to heal yourself. So today I decided to change the situation and make our system corruption setup even more stronger. As usual, Uncle Butcher in the building, welcome to the insanity and this barbecue chicken setup will kick in with new colors today and I did change couple things here but first of all if you're new here hit that like smash that sub or leave a hateful comment it really depends on your preference anyway welcome to the family my beautiful best so the biggest change here is actually that I paired up Hunter's Fury gear set with system corruption gear set hear me out brother don't click away why I did that? Because actually with Hunter's Fury gear set on kill we will gain 100% health back and 20% armor back. And we can chain kills really quickly because our main weapon here is uh, of course Ouroboros Exotic SMG and everything works extremely well together. And not only that but also I'm using System Corruption backpack. Excuse me, not backpack but chest piece. And chest piece is reducing our medkit's cooldown. So now each 15 seconds we can use cooldown. And if you're gonna pair up System Corruption, Gunner Specialization and Hunter's Fury gear set, with one kill only you will gain 50% armor back and 100% health back. So it means we now can survive and basically be immortal and heal ourselves non-stop even with, uh, when we are not using medkit. But before we continue, quick warm this one. So leaving that net, if you don't have enough time or good image but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then leaving that net is set for you. They have absolute amazing team on consoles, they will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through account sharing this service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews, you can check everything by yourself. But now with my promo code Urbative, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all service. Amazing deal, especially even right now. They have some crazy sales going on, so definitely check these guys out. But now let's get back to this setup. Yesterday I made system corruption setup with St. Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle and I have to be honest with you all, I really love assault rifle class. I'm not an SMG guy, but eventually after a couple hours of grind and of running strongholds on legendary difficulty, I came to one issue. It's really dope when bonus armor is up and then we, we can heal ourselves and we have extra damage but when the medkit is off and if you will receive incoming damage and your shield is off you're kind of forced to take the cover and wait for your medkit or your shield when it will come back and that really disrupts my gameplay and fan factor. If you can maintain your shield and health non-stop at uh, top tier level or at least halfway you can deal shit ton of damage, but sometimes when you are lost medkit, you are on 20 second cooldown, shield as well is lost, and the kills by itself in previous setup gave you like only 25% armor back. Mm, that's a huge uh, uh, off factor eventually. On heroic difficulty, that's different story for legendary mm, difficulty, nah. So I decided to go back to the lab today and switch some things here and there. For specialization though, we still are using gunner specialization because we have increased rate of fire on kill and armor back on kill and we need that extra survivability, we need that extra healing. Of course, you could use second skill as fixer draw, maybe seek a mandamine if you want to switch for survival, specialization or healing hive, but on legendary difficulty, you need something to distract enemies, something like decoy or assault turret. So for solo runs, Assault Turret is the way to go and I need foam grenades to stop enemies as well since we are not using Scorpio shotgun. So this is the way to go in terms of my numbers, I'm sitting pretty pretty well. Since we are not using Obliterate, crit chance is not that really important but still you, be some, you should be around 50% crit chance to be effective with your crit damage. 
and we hold that just fine. If you need to cap out crit chance, simply kill somebody with your pistol, with this exclusive pistol orbit, you will activate perfect finisher once you will switch to your uh, Ouroboros and you will receive 40% crit damage as well as the buff. For second weapon I'm using a lefty, name a shotgun with perfect sledgehammer talent and this talent will give us additional damage buff and you can actually activate it with your foam grenades or if foam grenades are empty in your backpack you can on the fly switch foam grenades for concussion grenades at least on xbox i can do this with one button press i don't know how it's on pc most likely with mouse wheel you should do that as well or maybe with one uh, keyboard press somewhere so yeah so activate sledgehammer should not be a problem and that extra damage when you are soloing something is extremely handy against legendary enemies rogue agent hunters changas all that shenanigans Ugh. you needed barbecue chicken damage for the gear itself i went for system corruption and hunters fury mash this combination gives a shit ton of armor on kill we have almost 50 percent armor on kill you could throw in the mix the mob shotgun with preservation or maybe uh, uh, name it shotgun no, no, excuse me not name it shotgun but uh, emeline's guard name it smg with perfect preservation and have even more armor again uh, but i think 50 percent is more than enough 100 percent held back on kill it is absolutely must have and and the crucial part here that actually i'm using system corruption chest piece since Ouroboros is one of the best dps weapons in the game right now we can sacrifice obliterate talent or intimidate talent for that reduced cooldown and now each 15 seconds we can use medkit and receive 20 percent damage buff when bonus armor is up and that adds up really quickly because you are using medkits more frequently you have bonus armor more frequently so you can deal actually more damage in the long run and you can heal yourself because on kill you will have 100% health back and of course uh, uh, 50% armor back and hunter's fury gear set will provide us with uh, weapon damage smg damage and shotgun damage as well and all this magic can be possible thanks to ninja bike backpack ninja bike backpack allows us to use only three pieces from system corruption gear to uh, receive four piece branded bonus and two pieces from hunter's fury gear set to receive three piece branded bonus so pretty pretty dope stuff here only thing that i would recommend you guys in this one is uh, to farm your ass off to find every piece with offensive core attribute i would rather use my chest piece with uh, weapon damage than armor core attribute but it is what it is it's extremely difficult to find system corruption pieces in dz and most likely you'll find really terrible rolls so to find chest piece with uh, crit damage or crit chance on is extremely long task or high task or how how what's the saying is i i, I long task to do I, am I saying it correctly? Long task to do. I guess. You got the point. It's a, not an easy task for sure. You have to basically farm your ass off with sweaty balls for a couple hours in DZ. And it's not given that you eventually will extract your items because DZ right now is savage. Especially against solo players. Jesus, man. Anyway, this build is a perfected system corruption setup for SMG lovers. Bye!